What's good YouTube, it's Vex Reaction, I'm back with another reaction video, and Hinja just dropped a new Skiz record, a new song, we're low key getting spoiled right now bro, we just got Han with his song 13, and now we got Hyunjin with a new song called Long For You, now I don't know exactly what this is about, but I have been seeing through the grapevine, I've been seeing rumors about protests telling Hyunjin to leak, like I don't know what's going on, I didn't want to report on it until I seen something official, and I haven't seen anything official yet, so I'm not about to run with no narrative bro, I'm not about to let nobody taint my idea, he just dropped this song amongst all of the, the rumors and all of that stuff. So let's see what Hyun, Hyunjin got to say, bro. Long for you. And I'm pretty sure he painted this. We know this man is gifted when it comes to art. I can't wait to see this man's like art in art museums and stuff like that. I feel like that'll be like a cool direction for his stuff to go bro like imagine you go into an art museum you see not only some of his art pieces but they playing some of his songs that would be very very nice but let's get into it and see what he got <laughs> Okay. Nice little whistle. Bro, this this is sounds really really deep. For me, I'm getting like I'm logging for like the older me. You know what I'm saying? This sound like more of an identity thing. In my opinion, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I always try to like get my interpretation of the song. But it sounds like he's longing for the old version of himself, the the version of himself with the smile. It seemed like he picked up an old photo, and you know I might be projecting, but it seemed like he picked out an old photo and he's seen the smile from when he where he was before and where he is after all of the work. And a lot of the times, as somebody who work hard or somebody who's a creative. You can lose that older version of yourself through the work, bro. And a lot of people won't see that. And it's not like it's a bad thing because you wanted that path. You chose that path. But choosing that path, uh, it makes you sell parts of yourself away, bro. The parts of you who dreamed of this and dreamed of that, you can't do, uh, you can't be the best version of this if you're trying to chase all of that. So sometimes you have to sacrifice that those versions of yourself who was optimistic about getting everything and instead of getting everything you focus on that one little you know situation and the rest of your you know dreams and aspirations wither away like the flower bro dang i don't know if that's that's what he's saying this could be you know a completely different situation but that's what i'm getting from this this is crazy deep bro i love these songs these skiz records he definitely got away with art he definitely got away with his words and I could tell he takes a, a really, really long time with like the way he puts out his lyrics, you know, he takes time on his lyrics and the way he composed stuff. And I feel like that's just being an artist, you know what I'm saying? Him being an artist allows him to, you know, not necessarily focus on this messed up line right here or that messed up line right there keeping the, the image of the end result in his head and just painting it. And once it all come together, you look at the result and be like, dang, look at what I did. Like, I could tell he take time with his art and I love it. I, I really do. I did 
not expect these. Oh, bro. This jazzy, soulful feel of this song is immaculate, bro. Not only the, the soulful feel of it, but the fact that he gave us a, a piece of art, a painting. Like, it really shows, like, the artistic nature of this dude. Keep in mind, during debut, this man was a rapper, bro. This man was considered a rapper. I love this, bro. This is beautiful. This part where I long for you is potent, bro. Potent. Come on. Hold up, I need that high note again. Cause it's like he he emptied out the backing track so you could really feel the vocal, and then he gave us a, a harmony of different instruments that really give like a, a opera type of feel. You know what I'm saying? I could definitely see myself painting to this, drawing to this, bro. Everything about this is cohesive in not only the fashion in which it is portrayed to us visually and vocally, but also the attention to detail, the strength within the vocals. I love this, bro. I definitely gonna put this on the playlist for sure, bro. This was beautiful, bro. This was very, very beautiful. How did y'all feel about this? Rated one through ten. This gotta be, bro. This gotta be like a ten out of ten for me, bro. I feel like I wanted this song to be a little bit longer, bro. I wanted more, more from him. Um, but I understand that it might not have been the way it was if he didn't make it this way. And um, I'm sure I trust his, you know, guidance, bro. I trust his vision, bro. This was fire, bro. Fire, 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 fire. He definitely, I would love for them to get these Skiz records. Do they ever drop like little bitty CDs and stuff like that? I feel like I would love like to collect some of Hyunjin's uh, music specifically, get like a record player and bro, that would be a vibe, bro. That would be a vibe. Anyways, I'm done, bro, with this video. I don't want to hear nothing about none of these allegations of him being mistreated, this, that, and the other, until it's coming from a credible source and we got some official stuff that's going on, bro. I hate rumors. I hate when people get into other people's business for no reason. I've I seen the stuff about the, the, um, the protest trucks and everything, bro, but, bro, I try not to look too deep into that stuff. Um, I'm out. We got more, uh, Stray Kids stuff on the way, obviously. I... I love uh, the art that these guys put out. They never disappoint me, and I feel like that's why I continue to come back to these guys and listen to these guys, bro. Without further ado, I'm out. Peace and love, and I hope everybody out there, I hope that you continue to love yourself and take care of yourself 
Because at the end of the day, bro, that soul inside of you, all of the experiences, the culmination of experience that you live, that is life. That is the preciousness of life, bro. All of that stuff that you went through, good and or bad, you know what I'm saying? That's a part of you, bro. And you need to cultivate and learn and love that part of you because you you going to be stuck with you for the rest of your life. That person who wake up and experience all of this stuff, that's a real person. That's a person with feelings. That's a person with happiness, goals, dreams, bro. Cultivate that, bro, because you never going to get another chance like this again. And I feel like a lot of the times we let the outside world or our struggles and stuff like that get to us when in reality, all we have to do is cling to ourselves and figure it out day by day. Step by step. And I'm going to keep preaching this same message. And I'm going to keep preaching these messages because I feel like somebody out there going to realize one day. They're going to turn on a video whether they knew or somebody who's been watching for a while. They're going to look at this video and they're going to understand and understand what I'm trying to tell them. And actually take the actions in their life and start living better. Start being happier and loving themselves more. And loving life because that's what life is. Life is an extension of you. But like I say, I'm out. If you're new, subscribe to Join the Mob and follow me on social media.